Hey Lisa, it's night time, 2.45 a.m. to be exact. It's good to see you do a video, do a video of you talking to the camera. That eye, that direct eye contact on the camera for an extended period of time is uh, really powerful. I was thinking today about eye contact and how like if you when you have eye contact with someone for a long period of time you kind of create a bond with that person so the video you know you made that that video of you making eye contact and 150,000 153,000 people have seen it so like it's creating the bond with all those people but then you're like not really doing it so there all of a sudden there's this big ego imbalance and all these people feel bonded to you but you don't know them which is I think why you're getting so much chaos and so many people are coming at you particularly because you have like a lot of people contacting you like a lot of people some of them probably some of them, one of the most on YouTube I think it seems like you're like the center right well like the focus in a lot of ways probably because of that fucking spamming incident I mean it went on for a while I got a comment from somebody with your page name Lisa Nova it said, uh, what Smurf do you prefer? And I sent you a message back explaining that it, I like Handy the best. That I used to, that I think Brainy had, has very poor social skills. Handy always was there to fix something if it went wrong, you know? And I'm there to save the day. Dude carried around a hammer. You know, I mean, this, you're gonna get, if you fucking dabble with with spam, it's like burning someone to, to teach them that they shouldn't play with fire. You burned them. It's the same kind of thing with spam. If you spam someone to teach them about spam, you spammed them. And yeah, you brought it to the forefront, but you put your, you threw yourself under the bus to do it. So I think you gotta just kinda accept that and not fight back. You got the attention. So do something with it. Do, I guess you are, actually. You're talking to the people, which is a really big change because usually people, I haven't seen many people that go from making shorts to turning around talking directly to the people. And that, that would seem like that would be intimidating for someone to do. And I see a lot of people speaking to the camera and then end up getting nervous and start making shorts. So this is refreshing. This is a good change. I also noticed you call it the last blog ever. <laughs> do what you gotta do. Whatever you're doing has been successful. People are, it's entertainment, but come on, Lisa. I'm, I went nuts on that one interview you did with that guy, Dax Flame. I, don't know, I still don't know his name, his real name. And it was just like tripe. Max said that a few days ago, tripe, and I've been interested. I think it, I think it was tripe. I, I'd have to look the word up, but it was like, you know, fluffy, like this thing you did in the park uh, where you're like eating the cake, that was funny, and that was like social commentary about eating and about willpower, but like the interview with the, with the guy was like, you were uh, nothing. I got nothing from it. It could have been, been something really interesting or insightful or at least sociopolitical in a way. Or really funny. But it wasn't even that. Hey, man. All right. I guess that's all. Oh, damn fucking mouse. My mouse isn't working, so I'm having a hard time clicking. What are you doing, man? Don't we have any of that upstairs? We got to get toilet paper. And uh, maybe some more dental floss. I'm working at noon. Alright, I'll see ya.